a real special one today. The fun and game stops now. <laughs> what a shot. Oh my word. Go, 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 drop, go. drop, yes. drop. Oh, what a putt. Oh, yes. Yes. Wind, wind, oh. wind. Come on, James. We want to see an eagle here at Royal Liverpool. All right, guys. A real special one today. Iconic clubhouse here at Royal Liverpool, the home venue for this year's Open Championship, which is this week. Now we've gotten access a little bit earlier to come down and play while the grandstands are up. I mean, this is gonna be incredible. I'm playing today with Guy, obviously from the podcast, and also ex-Tour Pro James Robinson. We've all got our own individual missions today. Mine's obviously break 75. We'll speak to the lads on the first tee to see what their expectations are today. Honestly, this is incredible. Open week, open venue. Sit back and enjoy. I think you're going to love this one. Oh <laughs> my goodness. Wow. <laughs> Epic. <laughs> first tee. Thankfully, <laughs> nobody in here right now today. But imagine when this is packed out. This is going to be a good guy. I am very, very excited for this today. I am excited. James, expectations. I, obviously, I'm trying to break 75. That's my goal. James is an ex-Tour Pro who has actually played in the Open 2018. Was it? Yeah. What's your expectations today? I'd like to try and say break 70. Break 70 is on. Now, guy, you've been incredibly confident Listen, today. I've been practicing a lot recently and I'm hitting it arguably the best I've ever hit the golf ball but that doesn't mean I'm going to play well today because of pressure. There's grandstands up, there's a good golfer, there's a decent golfer, there's an okay golfer. Last time we played here with the Claret Jug I shot 78. Yes, I think I might actually do that. I think the we same shot the score. same score, I'm pretty happy with that. So today genuinely breaking 80 I'd be, I'd be delighted with. Beating this guy is my goal. Sounds like you're breaking 70 today. <laughs> I'm breaking you've 70 given us. today. <laughs> I feel like that line, which you st I want you to play really well, but that line that you just said, I'm hitting it the best I've ever hit it. It's going to come back to haunt me, innit? Hopefully not, but we'll never know. Right. Now, this is weeks away from the Open. You're watching it open week. And I think it's a great video, this, because you'll get a proper insight to the golf course. Mm. Certainly, if you're not able to come here on site, and we're in proper Lynx condition, you can see a little bit of rain in the in the air, it's a bit breezy. Hopefully the weather report looks dry from this point. Now this golf course is obviously getting ready for the best players in the world. So there's a few things, rules we have to follow. If we're in closely mown area, fairway, this man will be, you've got to use rather a mat. Little mat. Which is understandable. We're in literally open condition. And apart from that, it's, it is how the open's gonna be played. Grandstands up. The 18th grandstand is spectacular. This first one is incredible. Check out that. This is the rough. <laughs> if your golf ball's going in that, has anyone got a ball in the pocket there? If your ball's going in that, it's gone. <laughs> Lassie wouldn't find that if it had bacon wrapped around it. Wow. When the grandstands are up, there's just some, there's, there's something special about the claret jug, the open logo, the yellow T signs. Right, without further ado, first hole, 459 yards, par four, slightly into breeze, into rain. Play well, play, play well, well, play well. Be sure to like and subscribe. I think you're gonna absolutely love this video. Right, a few bunkers down there, slight dog leg left. And they've got the bunker on the left and hopefully fade it back. Oh no. Whoa, that is really going right. <laughs> Thanks everyone. I'm gonna go now. Okay, so first things first, not only have I talked a good game so far, I'm also wearing shorts. I'm sure there's gonna be some comments about how white my legs are, etc. So feel free to get them in now. Get out your system and destroy me for wearing shorts. I thought it was gonna be sunny. It's not that sunny. But anyway, I'm feeling good. Swing's feeling okay. Little cut off that left bunker. Oh, followed Rick. Hard off the left. No, it's just a thin heel. It's 
It's okay. In the fairway, that one. <laughs> it's findable. <laughs> well, I have not much to follow there. So I'm guessing the wind's off the left after watching those two. <laughs> oh. Great shot. Oh, that's much better. <laughs> That's the right fairway. Oh, guys. that's where you're supposed to go. <laughs> oh, oh, right. That's, that's the, the fairway we're going at, guys. Is that where we're going? <laughs> Is this the fairway? <laughs> <laughs> Seems better than most, doesn't it? <laughs> Just a little walkway here. You so, know what's mad though? Like, I feel nervous now with these grandstands up, and there's obviously nobody in them. How did you feel playing the open? Genuinely, you must have been Not so that nervous. nervous really. really? Yeah. I can't believe that. I, don't know if I, was, put my I, I was more I nervous playing with Garcia and Poulter on the first, really? you know, in the practice rounds. Yes. Wow. Well, I know how that feels, playing with Poulter. I was nervous playing with him too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so not my finest uh, tee shot. I've had better. Uh, it's not out of bounds. We found it, but it's uh, it's horrible. I'm literally on. The, I'm on. I've gone right of the second hole. I've missed two fairways. And I think here is just a plan of getting it back into play. It's all right. <laughs> Welcome to Royal Liverpool. <laughs> I nearly broke my wrist hitting that shot then. Okay, so we've got mine. I missed the fairway by quite a long way as well. Got 230 yards to, to the flag, so I'm just going to hit a three iron and feed it down there. But what's what's genuinely funny is that, honestly, Rick, no word of lie, the range, I've been feeling really confident recently and flushing it. And I don't normally feel too nervous playing on camera. I look a bit daunting. But there's something about this today. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's got it's got an extra special bit of something on it. It really has. I, I don't. I, I just feel nervous. I really do. But and I'm also looking forward to it. And we are getting in proper links conditions today. The wind's really starting to pick up. Okay, through our end up that left side. I'm trying to feed it down the fairway. Great, right? Do something wind. I know. Do something wind. Pretty you know happy what? with that. Yeah, really that was a really there. good hit from there. Okay, so after blistering one down the middle, not following these these lines that these boys have taken, I've um, I've got to play off a mat because they're protecting the fairways, which are literally like a carpet that are so good. So I've got 177 straight into the wind. So I'm just going to try and drill a five iron, see how it goes off this mat. It's not bad. It's a little bit right. Bunker bound, I think. Strike seemed good. Third shot now here on the first. I'm still 180 yards away. I'm going to hit five iron. Hopefully it doesn't get too much of a flyer. Great shot. shot. Well done. Hold the finish. It's absolutely not what I meant to do. <laughs> so Rick has hit a great shot there. Was that intended? Couldn't tell it came out low and speedy. Yeah, absolutely. I absolutely it killed it. It's, it's very it. good. You've got a 20 footer for par. That'll oh. be an amazing par. <laughs> It'd be a ridiculous par. Um, this is my first shot off on the mats. So I'm interested to see how I perform. It's a little 50 degree wedge. Try and get it close. Par on the first would be delightful. Spin hard. Go in. Oh, oh, I've hit it well too hard. A bit clean. I was a bit scared of hitting it chunky on the mat, but. Yeah, that was hard. Okay, so after missing it just right at the green here, we've got a couple of mounds to go over. So I'd like to use putter, but we have to loft it over. Beautiful turf, so tight. Great shot, stay. Sit, Great sit. touch. Nice touch. Thank you. Great touch. Tiny bit firm, but try and knock it in for a solid start. Keep it rolling. Hmm. Right, honestly, I'm shocked and surprised, but delighted I've got this put for par. Zit it. That was weak. That's four, not a single good shot. Yeah, yep. never in doubt. Nice put. Solid. Never in doubt. One thing I've always wanted to do, when you see pro golfers, James, when they hold a good putt on it, like, oh, not even a good putt, a putt. Yeah. And everyone, they get a nice clap and just do a kind of a polite, like, to the crowd. So if I hold this putt, it'd be nice to have a bit of clapping as a little sound effect. And I'll just do my best tour pro impression. You ready? Okay, okay. okay. here so we go. Me, this, for this now, I'm a tour pro. Okay. <laughs> Ha, 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 ha. 
Second hole runs parallel to the first, 453 yards. It's a slight dog leg to the right this time though. It's interesting, a few weeks back when I was here, when I finished the bike ride from St Andrews to here, it was honestly baking hot and, the, and everywhere I looked burnt out. In the last week, we've had a bit of rain and everything's just popped up and greened. Um, so I think the board maybe won't roll quite as far. I mean, it's still gonna bounce down the fairway if a fairway is hit. Oh, James. Really nice ball. That'll do. I feel like actually I'm playing in the open, seeing shots like that. <laughs> I wish I hit it that well in the open. <laughs> that was really good. This guy can play golf. Right, down the right hand side, little draw. Oh, I'm playing different holes today. That did not bounce. Wow. No, that was in that long stuff that you were showing the uh, viewers before. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Good ball. Nice shot. Thank you. Okay, first provisional of the round. I'm sure there's going to be many. Swing. Lovely shot. It's in there. Second serve was beautiful. <laughs> Second serve. Okay, found my first shot. It's very much in this thick rough. Luckily, James is eagle eyed and we've got, we spotted it. I'm 183 yards left to the green still. Oh, I, need to, I need to ease into this round. I'm gonna, I'm, I don't know if I can get there. It is really, I don't know actually. I've got eight iron in hand. I think if I absolutely crush it, we might get up on the front edge. <laughs> up behind the grandstand on the first. <laughs> okay, so after hitting another fairway, I'm just getting my little mat out. So I've got 172, tiny bit of help from the wind, so nice full eight iron, straight at it. Pulled it, get lucky. Oh no, hit the bank and kick very, very left. Yeah, that was harsh. Okay, I've got a very similar shot to James. I've got 167 to the pin, so I'm also going eight iron. That nice bit of wind behind should help it. Try and get middle of the green. First full swing off the mat. Let's try and get used to these early on. Oh, good swing. He's used to a range, mightn't he? <laughs> good swing. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, I'm happy with Come that. Nice of that. <laughs> I warned James I was going to play well today. He didn't believe me. He laughed. Oh, <laughs> right, <it's laughs> okay, third shot into this green. Bit of a backstop, so I'm going to make sure I go long rather than short. Not that long, though. Fight up. Not Safe that one. Long. Okay, so after a pulley shot into the green, got a bit of a nasty shot now, up and over a bank, onto a very steep down slope. So I've got to land one nice and soft on the down slope. Oh, great execution, James. Go in. And that should do it. That's, nice and easy. That's, really <laughs> that's the best shot I've seen for a long time. That's really best really shot good. you've seen today. Today, definitely. <laughs> okay. Par put, miles away. Really, I know I had to be aggressive with that chip, but I think it's way too hard. Anyway, two ports, let's walk off, hopefully with, hopefully with another bogey. <laughs> Looking good. Go, go, Great go. Great port. Great port, Rick. Very good. Oh, I thought that was tracking for a minute. All right, two over through two. <laughs> I oh, blocked it out right. Got really scared over that. Bad pull. I just didn't want to race it past. I had visions of putting it right down there. But hey, look, it's a par. Regulation par. Regulation par, indeed. That's good. Yeah, wonderful up and down. Thank you very much, sir. Right, scores after two. Level par. Guys, one over. I'm two over. Don't want to be dropping any more. Okay, third hole. We come back, swing back around the front of the clubhouse. This is a severe dog leg to the right without a bounce down the right. Now, normally, obviously, the infrastructure isn't in place. So I think where that golf zone bit is, is perfect. If you start going towards the clubhouse, which normally we love to promote on the, on the podcast, that's starting to get a little bit too far for your second shot. 220 yards has been, 220 yards, 240 Roughly, yards yeah. is a good tee shot. Yeah. What are you gonna go with, James? I've got four iron. Okay. I'm just going to try and knock it to the corner. Strike. Yeah, good ball. Go ahead, 
position A1, I think. Went high that for four iron, but so well here. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to go for three iron, throw it quite as far as James, and that line he hit was absolutely A1. You can go a little bit further right, but you are getting kind of risky the further right you go. Slightly pulled it, but it should be all right. I'm not going too far. Oh, it has gone too far. Just in the yellowy stuff. Ugh. Now, this is where I don't want a tee shot to go right. My first gone right, my second's gone right. This cannot afford to go right. It's going to go straight down the middle of the fairway. Oh, it's not, not swinging it well today. Settle down a little, it should be all right. Might be okay. Near the clubhouse. Okay, found mining guys golf ball in this left rough. Mine's kind of set on this top of this mound, actually. 211 yards to the flag. It's just a, just literally a channel straight down. Um, probably slightly back into breeze. I'm going to try and hit a four iron and chase it down. Oh, that could be really nice. Great shot. Great at it. I feel like it needs to start slowing. What a golf shot that is. Great stuff. Ball, flag, hit. That's what I need to do. <laughs> this is why Lynx golf can be so punishing. I hit a bad shot, I did. But if you look where my ball is, so the way the furway is, it's probably 10 yards. And unlike Rick, did you hit a four iron there? Yeah, it yeah, was actually I, all right. I can't get anything on that. But it's my fault, I missed the furway, but it just shows it's going to be tough for these guys this week, it really is. Um, I think I'm going to have to hit a 50 degree out. There's no point trying to be a hero here because I just can't hit the shot that I want to hit. So a bit of a kind of back foot stabby 50 degree. So you can just try and get it forward by 30 or 40 yards would be pretty good. I've got away with that because I've thinned it. Stay short of everything. That's actually done very well for such a bad hit. Yeah, yeah I got away with that. So after a good tee shot, I've got 178 to the flag. Tiny bit of wind again, so I'm going to try and hit a, a lowish 7 iron straight at it. Oh, good strike, Jim. Really good strike. Holding in the wind. Should be the oh, one. Money. Oh, he's come to play again, hasn't he? We'll take that. Great shot. Getting used to these bats now. Great oh, shot. He came <laughs> to play. That's a superb strike, that, mate. Cheers. If it's enough club, it could be good. Oh, it's huge. Oh, I didn't see that happening. Okay, so that shot of mine was quite disappointing, actually, in the end, but never mind. Bad struck put again. Really bad struck put right on the toe, that. Okay. I did not expect to birdie put on this green. Just off the right, uphill. Come on, this'll steady the ship. Come on, for the birdie sauce. Oh. Good put. We moved the opposite way. I think it? I misread it a touch there, you know. Par on the card. First one of hopefully many. <laughs> Come on, not to put Come pressure on go. myself, Come but on. I want some birdie sauce. You, this is it. A little bit of open edition birdie sauce. Oof. Yes, boy. Yes. There we go. Left the centre, but it's down there. One under bit of sauce. Ah, James Robinson. And I think those three holes are really hard. It was a tough start, to be fair. I think those tough. The first three are tough. Come on, guy. This could be a three, a four, and a five. I completed the goal then. <laughs> well, let's keep this. This is to keep the doubles off the scorecard. It's a big put. This big momentum put for the round. It was always missing as well. It was always missing. Hard line. Fourth hole. Um, really nice hole, this actually. Plays back the opposite way of the third we've just played. There's bunkers left and right of the fairway. You just got to position your tee shot. And then it's actually a shorter iron into this green. It's par five coming up after this. What are you going to go with, James? I've got a three iron. Just trying to. Avoid the bunkers. Two on the left and then one on the right, so rip it. Middle of the fairway should work. Great shot. Does it ever get boring? <laughs> Just tried to hit it a little lower for Guy. Yeah, he did. He pulled it off as well. That's gone a long, long way. Right, fairway is key. Come on. Let's start hitting them straight. Should stay short a bit. Not liking these fairways, am I? <laughs> <laughs> don't you don't use that mat, do you? I'm not liking these fairways. <laughs> oh, I can't quite. Uh oh, come here. 
I feel like Swing just needs a bit of help, mate, James. Oh, woosa. Well, I can, <laughs> bit of woosa. I feel like I need a little bit of something. You look tensed in your neck. Just relax. Feel Lower it. your shoulders. I feel it. Feel a bit. Oh, it's a bit pulley. Bounce that trap. Just missed it left. Yeah. Yeah, that yeah, green post, fine. it's fine. Okay, second shot here into number four. I'm 147 yards away from the flag, but from memory, this green really slopes from front to back. The bunker that's in line with the flag is about 130, so I need to carry that really. So it's downwind out of rough. So I'm actually going to see if I can muscle a pitching wedge there. Land soft. We'll sit down. That's gone way over the green. Me hitting driver then was a bit silly really. I just don't know why I did it. But what's interesting is I hit a decent ish when I lower pulled it and I'm here. James hit his fur three iron to there. It's actually outdrew driven me. It just shows the importance of hitting the fairway, because if you do, it's just gonna bounce and bounce. This is quite a juicy lie again, like 97 yards, so I'm gonna hit like a three-quarter 50 degree wedge. Oh, that's gonna go straight in one. Oh, it's lucky. Stay there. Oh, it's gone through the back, but at least I've got it out and up there. After a good three iron, I've got 89 yards. Straight downwind, down rain now, just pouring it down. So, try and pitch it at about 80. Skip it up to the flag. That's short, it needs to go. Big skip, and spin. Oh, very slidey on the green. Right, here at the back of the green, really horrible lie. Like, it's sat down so badly. Got a bank to get up. I'm gonna try and run it up the bank and hopefully leave myself with a par opportunity. Yeah, good shot. Ah, not a million miles away that. Ah, it's too hard. Strike was money. So I am currently three over after three. If I miss this putt, I'm at least gonna be four over three, four. So breaking eight is going to become some challenge. So roll a nice put down there. Let's move on to the next hole and start the birdie train. Better pace at least. Yeah, good speed. After a decent shot in, we've got an uphill, fairly straight putt for birdie. Bit of moisture on the greens now, so make sure we get it there. Make sure we get it there. <laughs> Lucky oh, mate. A bit weak. Oh, solid par. Solid par. Okay, for par after going over the green, left to right, down the hill. Come on. I feel like to continue this round, a chance of breaking 75. A few of these have got to drop in. Get going. Go, 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 go. Drop, go. drop, yes. drop. Oh. What a putt. Oh. Nice. Well Place done. Down. Good, good. I would say perfect speed, perfect line. <laughs> Just. Just. <laughs> Fifth hole, par five, 520 yards, slight dog leg left. Driver's out. Driver's out. Let's Driver's go. Out. Rain's out. Into the grain, into the wind. It's, it's proper raining now, hence the colourful brolly from Bay Hill. Right, come on then, James. Shout out. Nice. I almost hit my ears that then. No, I had a weird noise to it. Oh, it's like. That looks a long way up that trap. Yeah, that's rip perfect. That okay, come on, driver. Well, you know what? I'm just saying to the lads, I've not had the privilege of using the hitting mats once because I've not been on the short stuff. <laughs> not once. <laughs> and not again. It's bouncing. Okay, it's time to turn it on. I, uh, no more bogeys, no more doubles, just birdies and pars. I can't even set with a straight face. <laughs> Oh. Hold your line. There, there we go. That should be all right. It's a fraction thin, but I'll take that every day of the week. Just keep thinning it just like that yeah, then. That's perfect. That. <laughs> Great ball. <laughs> right, well, I'm glad I'm not playing in the open because I think I would have taken out a few fans at this point. I've been so offline. Anyway, the lads are down there, perfect position. I'm back here in the rough. I'm clinging on, but this is a great opportunity to make birdie. I kind of need to, I'm a long, long, long way away. 308 yards away, so I need to hit one down there at about 200 and wedge it in from 100. First shot on the fairway. I honestly think that's gone a yard into the rough. 
Okay, so after a good tee shot, I've got 241 yards into this nice par five. So I don't think I can quite get three iron there. So I'm going to hit a little five wood. Oh, I'll be snapping the hook and. Oh! Sorry. Okay, so I've hit a great tee shot there. Really happy with that one. Level with James, which is a big achievement for me. Um, 243 as well in. So three woods, try and get it something up there. Let's have to fix this scorecard. Need some fixing. Oh, it's a bullet. Felt a bit weird off that. Oh, wow. That was a weird bounce. Don't know if that's finished up, but don't use excuses. But that did feel quite weird hitting a three, a three wood off that. But hopefully we find it and we go again. The good news is I'm getting closer to the fairway, but I'm one inch off. <laughs> 109 yards, pins at the front. I want to just go right, right at the flag. For the right distance. Great, Great shot. shot. Well played. I'll tell you what, this Lynx golf is brutal. I've hit a three wood then. I didn't hit it great admittedly, but I've literally missed the fairway, fairway by, you can see, 10 yards maybe, if, if even that. This stuff, I mean, look at my wedge here. It's so thick and deep. And on the balls there, I've got a bunker to contend with. You've got to be on your game. It sounds obvious, but you've got to be on your game around here. Oh, watch out. It came out hot. Wow. That surprised me. Didn't think I'd do that. So I've gone a little long left here at this par five. So it seems like when you go to these greens, you're going over some big mounds, chipping back onto it. We go over a mound and then release it out. So I've got 58 degrees, my choice of weapon. Oh. Sit down. Not the best, a bit hard. Didn't come out soft enough. I could really do an up and down here. Scorecard's getting messy if I don't. Now take the slope, now take the slope. Oh man. Okay, for an outside birdie chance, big sloping right to left put this. Oh, oh bang almost. in the Just middle. Just needed hitting. Just needed hitting. I had a lot of slope on that. Right in the middle. Okay, so after a bit of a clumsy chip, got about a 15 footer for birdie. That's weak. Uh, the apart from the pace and line, it was perfect. Nice. Six hole par three, first one we've got to, uh, 160 yards. Kind of interesting green this, because it's very much an upside down saucepan. Anything that's going left or right is going to get kicked further away, so. Ideally, middle of the green is perfect. A bit skinny, but right over it. Is that it? It wasn't the best strike in the world. Been in. Down. Yeah, nice. Yeah, that'll do. Okay, a time in hand. James's golf ball is a perfect marker. That's what I'm going to go for. That is a shank. What is wrong with me today? Bounced a couple of times. Okay, so I'm also going a tie in. That is a nice swing. Hold your line. Be enough. It's straight at it. Hold him on. Bounce left. Oh yeah, go it's a fraction shot. thin, but it got there. This isn't a terrible shot. I've got it's it's not in the real thick stuff. It's sat up quite nicely. It's got this pot bunker to get over, and then if I can just wedge it between Guy and James's golf ball, I'd be very happy. I'll pop it straight in the bunker. Ah, not feeling it. Not got the swing today. Okay, first bunker shot of the round. Come on, need to just get into this a little bit. I think it's hard because of the conditions, certainly the rain, etc. But that's what Lynx is. Wow, this is a big bunker. Sit. Ah, felt like it was time that a score bit me in the bum because my golf's been terrible so far. Good shot, Rick. Very nice. I'll give you a free read as well. <sighs> Making hard work of this. Okay, this is a big putt for me. I'd love to make a birdie here, but having said that, I'd almost like to make a par as well. So, par would be good, but let's knock this one in. Let's really give this a good go. Top of the heel. 
It's mad how much I'm missing the middle of the face. My putter today. It's part. No weak. Right for a double bogey. Yes. Never in doubt. Oh dear, how? Well done, mate. Seventh hole, 421 yards, par four. Quite a generous looking fairway, to be fair. Bunker on the right that might catch you out, so it's a little white post in the distance, so we're gonna aim at that. Great hit, really good drive. Yep, straight. Jump, mate, A1. Cheers. Perfect. At, at my white post. I've thinned it, but it's gonna be perfect. Perfect yeah, shot. Yeah, that should do that. The Lynx turf should help me out big time there as well. Perfect, that. A bit of ground fade. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Right, Shields, come on. These two are bombing it down the fairway. I need to join them. Join does. Yes. Join the bomber club. More Get like to use it. your mat. Three bombers. Yeah. Get to use my mat. Get that mat out. <laughs> Who'd have thought to see the day? <laughs> fairway. I just need a double bogey to settle my nerves. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we've played very friendly golf here. Literally, our balls are in almost a perfect line. Um, James has got the longest by a yard, so we'll let him have that, it's fine. More importantly... I get to hit off a mat. Get your mat You've gone out. to the skinny mat though, oh, so we've got a bit chunkier. You've gone thin. I've got both. Okay. Oh, you've just not seen either of them yet. <laughs> <laughs> well, we've You'll all got basically the exact one. same yardage, about 135 to the pin. A bit of wind helping us, so we're kind of all semi in between clubs, but I'm going to go for a pitching wedge. Oh, oh my God. Oh, sit down. <laughs> Guy, where did it go? How have, you hit, how have you got mud on your club? <laughs> <laughs> what on how earth? I'm honest to God, no idea. And for my next <laughs> next magic trick, <laughs> my God, that doesn't give me a lot of confidence in off this mat. <laughs> I felt great over that. You missed the mat. Oh my gosh! <laughs> I'm literally <coughs> speechless. What happened? Need to play this back. Can we slow mo that? Well, we can, but we can't now. <laughs> you guys watching can watch oh, it. Now. I must have hit it. So I must have. I, oh my gosh! <laughs> Did you feel comfy? Yeah, great. <laughs> Let me dead over there, do you reckon? No, I think it's fine. It, it oh looked my quite gosh! Bouncy, didn't it? Yeah, like it, it was bouncing on fairway. I think it's on like the next tee. Right. Good luck, Rick. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> okay, 136 yards, slightly down breeze. I'm going to go gap wedge. Travel a bit. It'll get a big skip, this. There that it is. Good. Yeah, nice shot, mate. Bit of regulation golf. And I've got pretty much the same shot as those guys. So I'm going to hit a little pitching wedge from 134. Tiny bit right. A piece of it. Go for distance. Okay, 90 yards to the flag. Let's try and get this one close. Oh, terrible. Okay, chip in needed to save par. This has been a proper weird hole, been a proper clown. Release, release, release. Try it. Good for line. Okay, birdie opportunity here on number seven. Up the hill, left to right. It's actually a really nice looking putt, this. Come on, I feel like after that double, a birdie would be very welcomed. Oh, why have I batted went, it? I went for it. it. <laughs> wanted that sauce. My man wanted sauce. He did. Very saucy. All right, birdie chance. Bit of a right to left swinger. Ooh. Oh! Good effort. Right, for a par, way, way, way longer than I want it to be, but right to left. Yeah, well done. Well, never in doubt. Mostly par. Ugh. Get aboard the par train. Okay, for the most adventurous bogey of my life. Oh, you son of a twerp. Oh, for fuck's sake. Eighth hole, par four, 436 yards. Absolutely looks mega for <laughs> Believe it or not, there is a fairway down there somewhere. Um, a lot of this is kind of just 
almost decoration to intimidate. <laughs> yeah. Isn't it? It's it not should be, yeah. It's not really in play. No, it's not. Uh, the flag is right down at the end there. 4 3 6, slightly into breeze. Just a side note, I've decided to just play like an absolute normal golfer and show you how hard it actually is. Is that okay? I love that. Yeah. I'm doing So if I shoot 90, it's on purpose. <laughs> <laughs> right, Relatable. come on, James. Right, let's try Straight and get down. going. Big block to the right. Yeah, extended then. Early extended. He did. Right, good drive on the last. I want more of that fairway. Hold your line. I hit like the top of that bush. The top of that yes. bush and our water came off it, yeah. Okay, the fun and game stops now. Come to play proper golf. The decoration got hit! <laughs> <laughs> They're two of the weirdest shots I've ever seen. Guy, there's a corner over there. Go and have a word with yourself. <laughs> what <the> f doing? <laughs> it's the grandstands. I don't hit shots like that normally. Well, I'm not having it in the bush, right? Provisional Titleist 3. Oh, that's, that's the one. one. That's the one. Where'd you buy them from, then, Provisional? <laughs> take up tennis. <laughs> I was really looking forward today to playing this golf course in this setting with the grandstands up. What, you're hitting three so wood? Well, what else are we doing? the same shot again in a minute. <laughs> I'm going to prove him wrong. Okay, though. sorry. Okay. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> and for my next trick shot. Go again. Tink up moment. No, I can't. Can I? Well, I'm going again. One more Stop time. One more, one more. One more. <laughs> <laughs> no. Did he get past it? He's in that. You know what I might have to do for the first time ever? I might have to NR in a rake 75 because this is just oh this god, is brutal. <laughs> Not my day. Okay, so because I'm going to be stood on this, is it just a it's, a? it's a casual drop. We're not playing for a gold medal. Right, fourth shot, three wood, off the deck, power cut. Oh, oh nice. Very nice. There's a little patronising in that, that fact to hit one. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well done, guy. Oh, nice. Well done. <laughs> right, it's not pretty, but I found it. And when I say it's not pretty, it's really not. It's, uh, it's a grand total of one yard in bounds. This is the out of bounds here. And it is so unbelievably buried. <laughs> I mean, just to chop out with a lob wedge back onto the fairway. It's the only thing I can do. Really hard. Really hard from there. Third shot. Oh, come on, we need to find the green here. Putting's feeling okay. Just need to give ourselves better birdie chances and par chances. Oh, it'll be really nice. Top drawing. <sighs> Roll off side of the green. Just off the side on the fringe. So after a bit of a errant tee shot, got 173 out of a bit of juicy wet rough. So I'm gonna try and dig a an eight iron out. Not too bad. It could be worse over here. Oh, I've done a guy. Shank one. Done a guy. You cheeky. <laughs> <laughs> Just took the cameraman out on that tower. <laughs> okay. So you joined me after hitting four shots. Now four shots to hit on this par four, so I need to either get up and down from 135 for a double bogey or hole out here for a bogey. I think both of those are quite optimistic, but let's start playing properly. I caught it thin. I was scared of hitting that far off that mat that time. We're on the green, I think. Right, so after a nasty shank, I've got 76 yards over a bunker. Sit down. Sit down. Shot. We'll take it, we'll take shot it. In there. It's gonna be the best part you've ever seen. Okay, fourth shot from the over the back of the green here. It's not too bad actually. Put it straight back. Go, go, go. It's rolling out. Go for speed. Well well yeah. done. Good Thank you. If I hold this for a double bogey six, you both give me a tenner. Yep. Double bogey? Yeah. This for a double? Yeah. Yeah, a hundred I'll give you a hundred pound. 100 quid? This, this is the best six in history if you hold this. 100 quid off Rick. 100 pounds without question. <laughs> <laughs> Go 
100 quid! 100 quid! 100 quid! Now! <laughs> Except PayPal. <laughs> How have you? <gasps> are, are we seeing this? <laughs> I'll tell you what, in exchange, there's a nice head cover in the shop wanted. Not the 200 pound one. No, the, the 75 quid one. You can have 25 pound change as well. Yes. Well done. Nice in business with you. <laughs> I don't know what's just happened. I don't know. You know what? I nearly, genuinely nearly said a thousand. <laughs> just as you stood it, I thought, you know what? A thousand. I'm, I'm so close to saying it. That was unbelievable. That is, what? How have you made six there? <laughs> Seriously? That's madness. Oh, gosh. Oh. One, shot, <laughs> one shot worse than Guy. That's the greatest uh, one shot six. Better. I've got this just to go one, one better than him. It's the greatest six I think oh, I've ever known God. in my life. There was so much care and attention to this five. <laughs> <laughs> you need this. <laughs> this is for the grand, this is it. <laughs> Right, for five. Yeah, solid five. What the hell? Tough hole, that. Well done, mate. Two fives and a six. <laughs> and the other thing, we've all had a shank now. Yeah. The three of us have all shanked. <laughs> Contagious stuff. Par three, ninth hole, 180 yards. We're going to go with... You're going seven. I've got seven. Yeah, I'm going to go seven. Seven irons. Again, a bit of a thinny one. Get lucky with a kick. Kick left. Nope, kick right. Is that the right club though, James, you think? I didn't strike that at yeah, all. Yeah, but hit well, wouldn't it? Go through? I think so, yeah. Bit skinny. Straight James, at it though. Some lucky bounces. This is going to be good. This is going to be good. Oh yeah. Lovely shot. Yeah. I mean, I hit that perfect. That was <laughs> great shot. Oh, it's very thin. It's going to really have to jump forward, that one. It's going to do, do it. fine. I think it's fine, this. It's bouncy, isn't it? Skippy. Lovely shot. Two yeah. great shots. <laughs> Flushed him. Which is the guy that's been on tour? Which one's been on tour? Which one's really? played in the open before? <laughs> the one who's not nine over. Happy <laughs> 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 Oh, yeah. Okay, so a little bit of a down slope. Not much green to work with. So we're going to have to be very cute on this one. Oh. Not bad. Very for distance. That, mate. Yeah. Just show everyone where your ball's finished, guys. Yeah, so a ball has finished in what looks like yesterday's hole. So if the pin had him in there, we would have been looking at the hole in one. But it's not. Never mind. Oh, I saw that coming at the end, it didn't do. But I'd take a par there with a grandstand full of people, to be fair. Okay, really good look at Birdie here to finish the front nine. Come on, if we want to break 75, I feel like some birdies need to, well, birdies definitely need to start dropping. Oh, yes. Sourced it. Sourced Very, it. very nice. Oh, that's class. It's a very good up and it's down. It's a good that. save. That's class. Good that's what save. a good player does. Doesn't give up shots easily. Right, after nine, James is level par. I'm four over. Guy's nine over. Back nine to go. The moment James is, what are you trying to break? 70? Uh, try and break 70, yeah. We all need to make lots of birdies on the back nine. Okay, 10th hole. Now, interestingly, every time I've played this hole, it's a par five. Yep. For the open, because the big hitters, it's a 507 yard par four. Ooh. Par five? Yes. Par, par five? five? Yeah. Okay. Well, I want to yeah. make a birdie. To, to some degree, it doesn't matter for the score, because the score's going to be the same yeah. at the end. Yeah. But I think just morally. For birdie source, yeah, potential purposes. reasons. Come on, eight. Beauty. Come to play now. Maybe that's what you need to do, but lose 100 quid every time you tee off. Too far? Yeah, it's not great. I think you go left of that. No, you're on the fairway, Rick. You can still can see the ball. Far? No. Can you? All right, I'm going to use my wise head. Just hit a three wood. It seems like if you hit it too far, it'll run out of fairway. And hit a big pull. <laughs> Dear me. Don't know. Someone's back guarded, I think. Okay, so I'm going to get three wood as well. I think Rick has hit the perfect drive, but if any further, it might be a bit too far. Yeah, good ball. Cheers. Nice hip turn. Great tee ball. Perfect. Yeah. 
Oh, gosh. What's happened? You've been playing with us. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the club. Okay, so I've got my ball here. It's pretty much the perfect three wood. Rick's driver is there. He's in absolute A1 position. But there is a lot of rough here, so I'm happy that I hit the three wood. Um, now another three wood into the green. It's a long way. Right side is better than left. So kind of favour that right side a bit and try to get a good connection. Oh, pulled it. No. That's not the side to miss on. Oof. Okay. After a good drive, 195 yards into the flag, we hit five iron. Come on, let's start this back nine strong. Stop drawing. Stop drawing. Mm, tough. Needed to hit a high fade, really. After a bit of a nasty pull, got lucky. I found this path here where it's going to be full of spectators, so it might have hit one of them and bounced back in the fairway. I've got 199 yards here, uphill. So I'm going to hit a five iron. Oh, no. Pushed it. Good strike. Needs to get left. Oh, it's in the trap. Okay, so I've got my ball. It's actually in this long stuff, but it's kind of sat up, which looks quite nice, but it's also those that if you hit it a bit heavy, the ball will drop down and it'll be a tough shot. So strike is still very important. Oh no, it's gonna come right back down. Wah, wah, wah. Oh no, go on. Oh my word, that was lucky. Okay, third shot here from the side of the green. Not actually too bad, just a little bit of undulation to get over. Let's see if we can get up and down. Strike. Slow down. Not bad. Yeah, good for speed, a bit of a random line. So I think it's going to be a popular bunker. As you can see, they've been practicing with cameras and there's a hole in the bunker lip there where they're going to have a camera. So it's a pretty deep one, this. It's got to be like, what would you say, Guy? 10 foot, easy. 10 foot, easy. I mean, yeah. there's me and my club. It's about that deep. <laughs> Can't actually see the flag when I set up. So. Pick a leaf. Go for it. Oh my word. Bite hard. Oh James. That's phenomenal. Can't say is it good? Yeah. Really foot, good. Foot. Well, maybe five foot. I'll take that. Yeah, phenomenal. Thank you. Okay, so this is a real, real, real outside chance of birdie. That was very much just a pace put, didn't even really read that one. All right, so we're calling it a birdie today. If it drops... Oh, I just moved, it. last foot. Pushed it. Did I it hit, push? Yeah, I hit the toe annoyingly. That would have been a nice birdie on there. So, come on. Fairly straight put. That is a really good... Oh, wow. That's it. <laughs> I just won the Claret Jug. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's what the winner's going to do next week. Okay, it's a little, uh, slight little knee knocker, this. I mean, I'm nine over par, playing solid, so I don't want to miss more putts. I'm gonna go at it, hard, knock it in. Yeah, nice. well done. 11th hole, 392 yards, par four. Wind, we've just come to the most elevated part of the golf course. You can actually first glimpse of the, of the sea um, and the first real taste of the wind once we've got up here. It's a pretty interesting hole, this. You could hit anything from seven iron to driver. Just being on the fairway is key. So I'm, gonna go two key iron. Yeah. I'm gonna go two iron and just try and drill one down there. Kick right. Really bad strike. I'm going for a, a three wood. It's trying. Okay, I'm going to go three iron. Kind of on the line of James is on that grandstand and let it hopefully feed in. Oh, it's a bit blocky. Oh no. I think it's all right down there. Yeah. Okay, really terrible tee shot. I think that two iron is, I think it's days are numbered well and truly. 190 yards left to the flag. The pin's very much at the front. I'm gonna try and get a seven iron there. I wanna hit six, but I don't think I can hit six out of this rough. If I can hit seven and just let it chase along the ground, I think he can get there. Kick straight. Oh, this might do well. Go on, run. It's not bad from there, mate. Just hit the upslope of that hill and killed it the first bounce. If it had got over that hill, it had a chance of getting on. Okay, it's got 143. I'm obviously in this kind of right rough. Got an all right lie, actually. 
it's all going to want to come off this left side because of the shape of the hole and the wind as well. So a nice committed kind of three-quarter pitching wedge. Hopefully it'll feed in towards the flag. Oh, it's very high. Get there. Could be in the fairway bunker at the front. No feedback from Yeah, it's good. It's on the green. Oh, it's on the green. Ideal. Didn't expect that. Right, I've got 111 yards. I have a bit of a smelly lie. Very unlucky, really, if it pitched. A couple of yards further right, it would have scooted down into the fairway. Missed that trap. Oh, that's going to be very good. Go on. Oh, go on. oh, yes. Missed it. Right, run through the back, that. Oh, good effort, though. Yeah, just yeah, off the back. On. Not bad. Not easy, that. Okay, little pitch here from the front of the green, uh, off the mat, because I might, might want to take a little divot here. Um, just got to land it left of the flag and just let the brakes grab it on. And hopefully it kind of swings round to the hole. Quite hard. Oh, it was really trying to as well. So after chasing it a little bit through the green, it's hit this bank and ran down. Yours are unlucky, mate. I know. Only a few yards too long. So I'm going to try and flop a little 58 up, a little nip and tuck. Oh, get up. Not enough. Oh, just a. Yard to a couple, couple of yards longer would have been good. The speed. Okay, for par after nice pitch in, but it just didn't quite put the brakes on. Up the hill, right to left. Get there. Oh, oh my word. such a good putt. That was a very good putt. That hurts. That hurts a lot. <sighs> Another bogey. 12th hole, par 4, 450 yards. Uh, slight dog leg it goes to the left. Holy right. That is honest to God so far right. That's insane. It's bouncing. God, that's another golf call. Oh, that's money. That is money. It's not past the first bunker. Early extension. Welcome to the club. Okay, one thing I can guarantee is the camera will not do this justice, how far right I've actually gone. So that's James and Rick, the right of the fairway we should be on, and I'm further right again. I'm left of the par three ninth, literally in this horrendous vegetable patch here. I can guarantee now that nobody who plays in the open will hit it this far right. There's absolutely no way on earth. This is a horrendous golf shot. There's a group coming up on this par three. I'm going to hack it out on that strip of fairway. Get down. I'll hit it too well. Okay, we've got. 164, got fairly lucky here. We've come over a mound and found a bit of semi rough from one of the uh, other holes. So, just going to try and knock a little seven iron in. Oh, James, that could be amazing. Stay there a little. It's a wonderful shot. Stay. Thank you. Well done. Shot, pal. Thanks, mate. Okay, so my hack out of that vegetable patch came here. Not a great shot here either, really, but it's my fault for putting it all over the place. Got 144 to the pin. Tried to hack a 9 iron. The ball's well above my feet. It's going to want to come left. Get up. It's done that's really a great well. Great shot. Wow. Yeah, that's the best shot of the day. Par incoming. Okay, 145 yards. Just, just narrowly missed the fairway. It's a hard fairway to hit this. Um, I'm just going to go, I'm going to go nine iron and just let the wind drift it back in. Oh, it's oh, a beauty. Oh, Ricky. Be nice. How's it not fading? Hit the ground. Yeah, nice shot. Very good shot. That was elegant. Thank Beautiful you. Beautiful swing. Long, long, long put here for a three. I was hoping that nine iron was going to dig in a little bit more, but out the rough it was not putting the brakes on. Not a lot in this putt, you know. It's pretty, it's pretty flat and it's pretty straight. Just the wind, if anything, is going to come off the right. 
Wind. Wind. Oh. Wind. Oh. Nice putting. Thank you. Ah. That'd have been the greatest. That'd have been better than your six. Come on, little right to lefter. Into a stiff breeze. Oh, didn't turn. We rolled just slightly. Wasn't right to left. Not far off, were we? Thirteenth hole, par three. And just have a quick look at this. Absolutely gorgeous hole. In fact. The view from the green is spectacular. Not quite as spectacular as the new 17th hole, which obviously we'll be playing very soon. Um, pinned 157 yards and just tucked in that little corner, which makes it harder to get to. Wind's slightly down and off the left. I'm gonna go nine iron. I've got nine iron, but it's a nice full one, I think. Anything short, it's gonna come running back here. Wind. Need a lot of wind. Push, push, push. Oh, there it is. Up. Oh, be good now. Wow. <laughs> wow. Flames. Very good. You even got a wow from the, from the top of the air. <laughs> oh, strike. Okay. Wind. Right. Need to do the what mine shot. did. Oh. Seeing what Rick did then. I'm going to go for like a, a smooth eight. I don't want to hit one good and come up too short. Nothing more annoying than that. Oh, that's really nice. Long. <laughs> Good shot. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> looked like nice. a nearly slam dunk. Right, this isn't pretty. This isn't pretty at all. My nine eyes actually come quite a bit short, in fairness. I'm in this horrible, horrible, nasty lie. I've got no green to work with. <laughs> oh, I literally couldn't have put myself in a worse spot. Really difficult, that shot. Really hard. Okay, still a challenging chip. Getting closer. Tried to be way too delicate then. Oh, right, fourth shot. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Nine iron, lob wedge, lob wedge, lob wedge. Put me down for a four. Okay, so long putt here, probably a 40 footer. Come on, keep going, keep rolling, keep rolling, keep going, keep going. Oh, I need, that's a big dust spin. So I've learned a little bit from Guy there. Tiny bit of right to left at the end. About time we hold one. Not turning. Not no pace. turn, no pace. Other than that, good. Apart from that, it was really good. Bad line, bad pace, but... Struck it well. Well done. Thank you. 14th hole, 454 yards, big dog leg left. The wind's off the left, so it's pushing you into the bunkers that are on the right half of the fairway. So I've got a three wood. I'm just going to try and hit it to the corner, and then round it we go. I've done nothing that I said. <laughs> He's a liar. He's a liar. Not so right. good. Unlike James, I'm a man of my word. <laughs> so what I say, I'm going to do. So allow me to explain. I'm going to hit a little fade down the left side of the fairway and just cut it onto the centre of the fairway, hold my finish elegantly, and then make a par. Thin bullet. What I said I'd do. Missed the fairway. You missed the fairway. Apart from that, it was the same as what you said. <laughs> you hit the ball. <laughs> Hell, you finish. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go driver. Do you, are you a man of your word, Rick? Um, Come on, tell us what you're going to do. Let's see if you do it. Okay. We've got I'm two gonna... liars so far. <laughs> I'm going to start it. See the pointy house with the round window? Yep, I see it. On that. Wow, and okay. And finish it on the blue crane. Oh, wow. They've got another Pinocchio on our hands. Bounced. How bad are they? <laughs> They're all shocking. Okay, 220 yards left to this hole. Terrible tee shot. Um, I'm actually weirdly gone so far right. I'm in the slightly shorter grass compared to James, which didn't go far as far right. He's in the much longer grass. I'm going to go four iron. Just try and chase it as close to there as I can. Oh, I'll just lay up. 
Oh, it's hit that post. See it? Yeah. Well, I've got 199 yards. Not out of, uh, out of a really bad light, to be fair. So I'm just going to hit a nine iron. I'm going to try and advance it. Short right. And then we'll try and get up and down the old-fashioned way. That's all I need. That's where mine should have been. In the fairway. Okay, this is quite a, a tough hole, this one. And um, I've got 180 to the front of the green. Wind off the left in this little bit of rough. I'm going to just try and smash a five iron towards the green and kind of hope for the best, really. A little bit heavy. Could actually be all right, though. Oh, it's a bit short. It's okay though, should be a chip and a putt. After hitting one of those little posts right in the middle of the fairway, that little one, it must be mark it out for a crossing for when they opened here. And it's bounced into the rough here. <laughs> oh, my ball does not want to be on the fairway. Right, 86 yards, pins just up on the top of the green there as you can see, into breeze. I'm going to play like a low flighted 90 yard shot. Good shot. Maybe a tiny bit long. Right, so after getting it back in play, got 59 yards. So we need to try and save par. Went back nice. Spin. I don't like it went in for me. I know, there it is. Yeah, Great shot. shot. Cheers. Okay, so I'm actually really happy with that five iron where it came to. But I'd love to get this up and down now to save par on a really difficult hole. Oh, I didn't quite get it. Okay, a long range par putt. I was hoping that wedge shot would finish a bit closer. If I was on the fairway, I might have had a chance. Okay. Oh, I feel like I've been rolling it well to down the green, so there's always a chance. Rolling it well today. He's rolling it well today. Oh, yes. That Easy par. Easy par. Easy par. <laughs> par sauce. <laughs> Oh, bloody hell, hey? Wow. I'm, I'm doing my best, everybody. I'm doing my best. I'm trying to stay in this. Oh, you... Ah. Unlucky, mate. Oh. Go on, James, after a great pitch. <gasps> That's not good. <sighs> 15th hole. Now, I was just walking up here and said to the lads, oh, it's all right, we've got an easy par five coming up. Was I wrong? I was wrong. I think we forgot about this new tee. I didn't realize there's a new tee back here, which makes this hole 620 yards. Now, luckily it's down breeze, but I mean, actually, when you look at the flag of where it is, a long it does way. actually look a ridiculous a long way. I right. can't even see it, where is it? Uh, down the right near the- Oh, the red flag, oh yeah. my word. Oh, not a snapper. That's took a big bounce right into the brown oh, end of the edge God. of the brown spot. Great oh, shot, stay there. Hello. That's gonna be huge. Wow. Slow down, slow down, slow Lost down. It. Slow, that's, no, that that's an unbelievable Great drive. hit, mate. I think this is the longest hole I've ever played. 620 yards. Fits toe weight. Big bounce. I lost it down in the trap. Right near that white. No, it didn't. It went left, left of the, the traps. traps. All right, okay. Okay, another really ropey tee shot. It's not been, not been playing ball today off the tee. I mean, a horrible lie, but at least we found it. That's a, That's a cracking effort. Well done out there, mate. Yeah, Thanks. good shot. Annoyingly, I've obviously missed the fairway again. Not by much, but it's quite a uh, thick here. And I'm just gonna have to hit an iron down because there's a bunker over there at 190 from here. There's, it gets tight. So kind of chip an eight iron, try and get some momentum down the fairway and then hit the green on the third shot, hopefully. Oops, nearly shanked it. Oh, that was really bad, but it's okay. 250 yards left. Quite a lot of wind helping down off the right. I'm gonna just try and hit a high four iron. High drawy four iron. 
Great shot. Oh, get up. James. Get on. Great hit. Thank you. Pretty happy right, with that one. Really good. Looks like just snuck onto the green. Okay, 205 yards hitting my third shot into this green. Down breeze and bouncy. I'm going to hit seven iron. No, 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 no. Do not miss left. That flag eye. I've not had enough practice off these mats, have I? No. Just go left and off, the, off them if you don't get it. Okay, so I've really not played this hole very well. I think the truth is I am not cut out for 600 odd yard plus par fives. Um, but 167 to the front. It's going to go eight iron out of this rough. So to get a nice strike on it and hopefully kind of feed it down that uh, bit of fairway onto the green. Yeah, oh, hold nice. the line. Hold. Bing. See ya. Oh, that's rolled right through the back of the green. So just after pulling it there, my third shot, I'm pin high but left. Got this bunker to get over. Luckily for me, even though it's in the rough, it sat quite nice. And actually, just a bit into breeze. So that's kind of giving me a little bit of confidence that I can be, I can go for this a touch more. Another chipping would be nice. What about in the hole? What Great about in the shot. Hole? What a shot. Oh. Lovely touch, mate. Oh, felt like there was a chance then. Felt like there was a chance. Okay, so just on the back of this green, just, just off the green. Probably should be a putter, really, but because the wind's into the face so much, I'd have to hit it so hard. So I'm going to go for a nine iron, back foot, bump and run. A bit of magic here would be delightful. Inside Ricks and get a tapping par. Ah, overhitting it again. Right, for an eagle, James. Oof. Unbelievable drive. Incredible four iron from 250 yards. This for an eagle. What's your current score? I'm um, one over par. So this is to get back under par? I need to get under par with this. Wow, this is big. Come on. Come on, James. We want to see an eagle here at Royal Liverpool. Get that blue sauce ready. Come on, baby. Knock it in. Do it. Oh, yes! yes! Get that sauce out. <laughs> yes! <laughs> that was insane. That <laughs> is an outrageous eagle. He was well a pretty good Well done, one. James. An outrageous <laughs> eagle. All right, you've inspired me to hold my par pot. Come on, mate. You've got this. Yes. Oh yeah! Hold the bucket. Hold the bucket. <laughs> Made my putt seem hard. <laughs> Hold on, mate. We were we were two, two under yeah. on that hole. There is a team. <laughs> we were two under. <laughs> two under team. Well done, team. Well done. Well done boys. <laughs> okay, sixteenth hole. Arguably today the hardest hole on this golf course. On the planet. It's 461 yards, straight back into the wind that helped us on the last hole. There's four bunkers protecting the fairway, and then there's plenty of trouble more after that. And a massive wind. And the wind is really brutal. <laughs> Up the fairway. It's not a bad hit, that at all. This is such a hard fairway to Might just be right, find. Sammy. I'm going to try and draw it into the bunkers on the left. Oh my days. That's, That's the best tee shot of the day, yeah. That's oh. the best tee shot you've ever hit in your life. That was beautiful. That what, was dead. What, what wind? What wind? <laughs> <laughs> that was that. I've only got three iron left into the green now. <laughs> oh, nearly. Got the flight, pulled it. Bounce him. As you can see, I've missed the fairway, which I deserve to be punished for, but if I was another half a foot or something that way, I had a much better lie, but this is horrendous. So I've got to hack out my 50 degree wedge and try and get it up the fairway a bit. Nope, that's not a good shot. Still in the rough. Okay, after a very good tee shot, the first time I've split the fairway all day. Uh, in fact, no, I did it on the par five ten. That's a lie. So second time, uh, 140. 90 yards to the flag, right back into wind, and it's like a bullet low four iron, really. See if we can chase it up there. Come on, a bird, I mean, a birdie on here, that would be very unlikely and a huge surprise, but I just feel like with the with the short par three next, which is very hard, don't get me wrong, there's a chance of birdie there, 
and a par five finish. You never know, three birdies, six over at the moment. At least that'll get me in at 75. What a great shot this is. Class shot, Rick. Shot. Thank you. Right, so not too bad with the lie. Got 182 yards. If I get a flyer, this might be too much club. So I'll just play a soft five iron. Oh, it's come out nice. That's really good. Be good, be good. Hit the hole. Wow, James. I'll take that. It's a great shot. Showing me up after my good one. <laughs> okay, I've got 127 to the flag. Seeing those two good shots come in there has inspired me. Got a wedge because it could have come out a little bit hot. Oh, it'd be nice. Oh, great shot, guy. Nearly went in. After, I must admit, one of the nicest four irons I've ever hit. I, I thought I'd run off the green, but it hasn't. It's, uh, it's in a really nice spot. Come on, a birdie on here, honestly, would, would make my day. Oh, oh, God, that's oh. been good today. You're rolling that putter well. You are. Oh, I thought I had it. I honestly thought I had it. I will take a par on there every day, but a birdie would have been very, very sweet. Ah, I need to hold another monster to save par. No, that was a bad putt. All along, I've missed that right. Pace was great. And a little bogey to the scorecard. Right, James, if you make another birdie here, this will be awesome. Come on. Do it. Drop it like it's hard. No. Kind of went straightened up Just at the straight. end. Yeah. Had it left to right, didn't do anything. Yeah, solid. Oh, Take you. a four. Take a four. Right. Good par. Two to go. Now, this hole, this is going to be pivotal this week at the Open. The 17th, the redesigned par three. We played it a few times. It's only short, but doesn't mean it's easy. <laughs> <laughs> so here we go, 17th hole. Now at the moment, let me show you, when you're watching this, the open week, that will all be complete and ready to go. However, obviously it's been built. So we are off for temporary tee and it has got a mat. Because I, I think they're protecting a lot of these tees because they might mix it up a lot. Yeah, this is a short hole, but what a very interesting hole. Um, anything can happen on this hole, as we've seen. We've been in that bunker before, haven't we? And it's so, dangerous. Anything that anything that doesn't stay on the green, if it spins off the front of the green, you're in this massive, huge bunker, and it's very hard from there. Yes. But even, even the whole green is so cool, and the backdrop's amazing. 101 yards. What are you hitting? I've just actually switched to a nine iron. A nine iron. Yep. It's 100 not... yard nine iron. Yep. Wow. You watch this. Okay. And roll <laughs> is a little half shot. Keep it low. Take all the spin off it. This is what good players I think Wedge do. is going to come razzing off the green. Seen all the right things. I don't know if that's got enough. Well, Hammers. Very professional. That's really messed me up. There. That's <laughs> the bag. That's the way to do oh, it, boys. I can't, I can't chip a little bit. It's a long chip. How I'm doing it. Take all the spin off James. it. You need to lower the spin. Okay, I'll show James how to do it. He was close then. Yeah, Houston was close. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to hit the high spinny wedge for us. Move for nine iron. Show James exactly how you do it. <laughs> oh, a bit higher. Stalling it up. Tiny bit longer. Better. More attractive shot, that one, it? Yeah, it's all about what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm also going to go nine iron and just play a little chippy one in there. My friend Nick Faldo taught me this once upon a time. Oh, hold your line. Wind, 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 wind. That's yeah. going to skip off the left side of it, unfortunately. You know what is nice about this tee? The fact we've got 18th tee behind us, so we can leave our bags there. And I'm going to walk like an actual tour pro with one club under the armpit. Under my arm. I'll best take a wedge just in case of me. <laughs> Can't go as well as James. He's got more experience than I have. Got it under the wrong arm, mate. There, there you go. go. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> or the Rory. Like that. I actually flew that nine iron long in the end, annoyingly. Not quite got that little finesse. Just over the back of the green. Any, any more, two yards further down and it's, it's gone, gone. Right, chipped in once today, can I do it again? Can I do it again? Oh, stop. 
So from there, I needed a little bit more height. It's a little swinger right to left, up the hill. Low. Low. Low and weak. Didn't hit it. It's a par. It's a par. Come on. Really want to make a par here. Oh, yes. That putter's been on fire. That is absolutely on fire, that thing. <laughs> <laughs> on fire. I've putted well today. You've rolled it really well. Okay, so my round's not going to plan, obviously. I've not had a birdie yet. To birdie this hole would be massive. An iconic hole in the Open this year, for sure. No, he's railroaded it. Can I have a par Change on that. Can, can, can I get a par? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, dear. After the best shot in is off. Come on, guy. We want three pars on here. Yes. yes. Never in doubt. Never in doubt. Never in doubt. <laughs> <laughs> it was a little bit in doubt. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. Final hole, 18. This is where this Sunday champion elect will be teeing off as he tries to complete the last hole to lift the claret jug. That was nicely done. Thanks. 18th <laughs> hole, 609 yards, par five. Hell of a hole. What are those bunkers down there, James? 321 for the lip on the first one. Okay. Um, it's been fun today, hasn't it? Yeah, it's been really good. It's been hard. It's been mm. tough, yeah. <laughs> Not yet. Not an easy well, course I feel today. Like it's definitely been a challenge. Uh, you played well, you won under. One under, need an eagle on the last. Okay, go on then. Off you go. go. <laughs> I'm six over. I need a hole in one on the last. And I don't think that's even enough. <laughs> I'm 12 over. I need to make him not play this hole <laughs> to break 80. <laughs> in fact, don't lie, a hole in one would get me under 75. There you Just. go. <laughs> oh, Jimothy. That is so long. <laughs> That's the longest. Oh my God, a, James. A few players paying millions for that. Oh my <laughs> God, that is literally perfect. <laughs> Come on, Rick. Finish strong. Oh. For right! <laughs> <laughs> That's out of bounds. So I've seen one that is perfect and one that is out of bounds. So I'm going to do, I think realistically, I'll do one of those two. So I'll either join Rick or join James. Oh, yeah, you join James. It's a lovely shot. Thank you. Great ball. Silky. Thank you. Right, provisional ball, just in case some miracle. Bounce back in. Making this all hard. It's in bounds. It's as good as I could have done. Chap. So me and James have hit really good drives. So they're very happy with that one. I've got 270 to the flag. I want to hit a three wood and go for it, but there's all this infrastructure getting built. There's people everywhere, and I'm quite scared to do that. So I'm going to hit a six iron and kind of go over this corner that's out of bounds, cut most of that off, and then hopefully have a flick into the green and make my par. Oh no, I've shanked it. Oh no. It's out of bounds, isn't it? Oh no. That was um, absolute nerves that got the better of me. Wow. My heart's still pounding. I'm gonna try and hit this again. I nearly did it again. That one's okay. All right, so after a good tee shot, I've got basically the same as what I had before. 247 yards on this go. And it's downwind again, so I'm gonna hit my trusty four iron. It's an intimidating shot, this though. So if you're coming down here needing a birdie or an eagle, you got some Kahuna's going for it. Shot. Be good. Great shot. So it looks Great pretty shot. good. Looks like I've found the green. Maybe like 30 foot left of it. But uh, trusty four iron's working today. Wow. <laughs> it's insane. Oh, what a place. <laughs> you know what? It's, it's something iconic about a grand time around the 18th hole at the Open. Yeah. The yellow leaderboards, the blue, the blue seats, the open logos. Just lines it perfectly, doesn't it? Yeah, it makes the, it makes the green look smaller. Yeah, it does. <laughs> it's been fun, it's been really fun. I know it it's has. not been the, the golf we all expected. James played pretty well, to be fair. But got, got not <laughs> James played as we expected. Yeah, that's true. And that we played true. kind of as we expected. <laughs> <That is true. laughs>
I wanted to leave myself 100, left myself 99. Not bad. Right, come on, need to finish in style. Sand wedge. Up and down. I think gets me just in under 80. Come on, Rick. Nice shot. Yeah, nice. Lovely shot. Thank you. Okay, I think it's fair to say today has not been my day. But what I have enjoyed genuinely is seeing actually how tough this golf course can play. And it's going to get even harder for the tour pros. But like, again, I've shot out of bounds. Horrendous. Hit one, not ideal, but not what feels too bad. And this rough, it's just so thick and juicy. There's all those bunkers to deal with as well. So it is quite daunting for kind of a pretty normal golfer like me. It could shoot a million. Right, try and get this one somewhat close. Stop. God, that one actually hit really well. It's just gone like mad. Okay, this last hole's been a bit of a nightmare. Can I hit one last good shot in front of the 18th grandstand at Royal Liverpool? No. I gave it a chance. Good effort. For an eagle finish. Again, pretty much everybody playing in the open would snatch James's hand off for an eagle. It's quite cool talking in here. Like yeah, echoes, echo, yeah. Right, come on, James. Send the crowd crazy for Eagle and to shoot a 69. Good roll. Get up. Oh, nice putt. 70 is bad. 70 is not bad at all, mate. Yeah. 70. Well done, pal. Thank you. Very, very professional. Good. Very, very professional. Okay, so after obviously knocking one out of bounds, this is for a bogey which actually would get me in at 79. It's a break 80. Go, go, go. Not unlucky, mate. First putt, speed let me down. Put it nicely though today. It's the only thing that's kept my scorecard somewhat intact. I could have shot a million today if my putter wasn't working. <laughs> <laughs> I am going to shoot a million, but put, if I hold this putt, 100 quid. 86. You've got a head cover in three. <laughs> this is for an 86. If I miss it, it's an 87. I don't know why. I feel like 87 sounds a lot worse than 86. Sounds much closer to 90. Correct. Yeah. So this is a big put. You only put, just broke really. 90. <laughs> yeah. This is a big put. I've definitely broke 90 today, which is nice. Um, but this is the 86. I might even fist bump it. <laughs> sounds so much worse, that. 87 does, doesn't it? It's and you missed so it on the low worse. side. How do you feel? <laughs> but gentlemen, it's all fun and games. That was really good. Pleasure. That was awesome. Much. Thanks for the invite. Privilege. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks, mate. That Guys, mate. hopefully well you done. enjoyed good the video. Call. Be sure to like and subscribe. Open this week. Enjoy it. Who's your money on? Put your comments down below. Jane right. Robinson. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that was epic. See you next time. So this is what I had my eye on before we teed off, Rick. So get your card out. There you go, son. It's actually very expensive. It's seventy-five quid, but. Got 25 quid left to play with. Yes. You said 100 quid. I did. So I'm going to get a gorgeous open Royal Liverpool flag, but give it away to someone watching this video. <laughs> give it to me then. <laughs> <laughs> no, you can give it away. Tell okay. What to do. Brilliant. Be sure to, look, to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and leave a comment down below. We'll pick a winner to win this wonderful Royal Liverpool flag. We'll ship it to anywhere in the world. 100 pounds, well spent. Thank you very much, that was sir. The greatest six I've ever seen in my life. Yes. <laughs>